and welcome to Out of Spec Motoring. Today we are doing our typical 70 mile per hour highway range test, this time of the Hyundai Kona Electric. This is a brand new 2020 model. You may have seen the Chevrolet Bolt. This is also a 2020 model with the 66 kilowatt hour battery pack. If you're interested in seeing more, take a look at our other videos. I've done a range test on this car. We've compared the two and both will have full reviews on our Inside EVs YouTube channel. But now let's get started with the Kona. The car is fully charged. It just completed charging at our level two here at the studio and racetrack. I drove it up here this morning, plugged it right in, took like five hours to charge um, from 50%. So the pack's nice and warm. It is about 60 degrees outside, a little bit chilly, and it's gonna be dropping because it's about five o'clock p.m. So this isn't a, a perfect range test, none are, but it's still very similar conditions to what we did the bolt in yesterday. So I think this will be a good comparison. We have about a four or five mile per hour side wind. So our plan is to go down 95 and back up and we'll just keep going back and forth until, until it's drained. But I guess, you know, this will be a few hour drive. Cruise control set at 70, minimize the number of stops normal air conditioning usage nothing crazy and then we'll run it until she doesn't want to move anymore okay we've reset the trip computer i've turned off the auxiliary battery heating uh i don't expect it to need to kick on but just in case and so let's get right over to the highway we're one mile off and jump right up to 70 miles per hour and we won't stop until the car stops as we're making our way over to the highway, let's put the car into eco mode. I'm not going to do eco plus because I would like some air conditioning. I'm going to run driver only though, and I'm going to turn off the heater. We don't want to run that. It's sort of, uh, it'll be nice enough out here. The car is predicting 215 miles of range. I've been driving it quite hard up and down the highways just because I've been running late to get up to the track. So let's see what it actually does at 70. All right, here we go, gently merging onto the highway. We're gonna check the GPS speed app. As soon as I get up to around 70 miles per hour, I will lock in the adaptive cruise control and the auto steering, the auto lane centering. Not as good as autopilot, but not too bad. So let's get us up to speed here, 70 miles per hour. We'll lock it in and this is gonna be quite a boring drive, I suspect. This is one of the only times I've been in a car where the speedometer reads under what you're actually doing. 69 miles per hour is actually 70 GPS. Normally I have to set it to 71, 72. Well, it doesn't really matter to me. We're gonna have the cruise control set at 69 the whole time. I'm sure I'll hear about that in the comments. And, <laughs> and we're just gonna go up and down the highway. So cue some, the, cue some good music. Maybe some podcasts and we'll hit the road. Okay, a little bit of an update to our route. Um, this is actually really good because uh, the bolt range test would have gone up before this and I took that from the track to my house back to the track. It's about 94 miles one way and then I just went north. Almost the exact same conditions as today. So. I may as well do that in the Kona, it makes no difference uh, which highway to go on. So I'm gonna do the exact same route with the exact same plus or minus conditions. Uh, same driving speed, of course. We're gonna pick up Alyssa at home, but she's gonna follow us in the Tesla. Uh, we own a Model 3 with all the dogs in it, and we'll have a big uh, slumber party at the track tonight, which will kind of be kind of fun. Maybe we'll put a little campfire out, let the dogs run around, and so that'll be a nice ending to our range and consumption test of the Hyundai Kona electric. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go home to Raleigh. Well, she said she's gonna get the car loaded up. I just uh, charged it because it's been sitting and I don't drive it that often. It usually sits plugged in at 50%. So I bumped the charge limit up. She'll throw the dogs in it. We'll drive on up and finish off this range test. And if you watch the Bolts video, right over there is where that U-Haul was on fire. I did not notice any uh, any uh, charring marks on the ground, so I hope they got to it in time. That was really crazy. And now we are heading on the road to Raleigh. This is great. I don't know why I didn't think about this before I left, but it'll be nice to do the exact same route 
in the Kona as we did in the Bolt because the cars are so evenly matched. It's really one mile EPA rated range difference. This car is 258, the Bolt's 259. Keep in mind, highway tests always do less because we're just sitting on the highway at a constant speed, not doing a mixed cycle driving like the EPA does. As you can see, we are now back to the house. Alyssa's i3 is over there. The Tesla's in the garage. We gotta move the Volvo out. That's another car that I'm testing this week. Uh, we've done 94.5 miles straight from the track to home, 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. I believe that's better than we saw in the Bolt up to this point, but the winds are different. They're actually opposite of yesterday. So we'll find out how that goes on the way back. We have 61% remaining, so we'll have to go a little bit north of the track like we did into Virginia and back down. I'm going to shut the car off now so it doesn't use anything while it's stopped. We'll rearrange the cars for the next 5-10 minutes and jump back on the road. This should not affect results much at all, especially as our house is right off the highway. We peeled the Tesla out from the garage. We're loading up the dogs. We have a foster dog this week. His name is Harlow. Here's Ellie. There's Blue. And where's Harlow? Harlow. Yes, Blue, we, everyone knows you. We gotta say hi to Harlow. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Hey, Harlow. He's such a sweet boy. Yeah, we gotta find him a good home. If you're looking for a dog, Harlow is awesome. Wouldn't you agree? I do. He's, yeah, he's really sweet. This one is really dumb, but we love her. Come on, Elbel. <laughs> oh no. All right, so I'm going 70 miles an hour the whole way, just so you know. What? What was that? Oh, you're just gonna blow past me? All right, well, I get, I'll see you up there a little bit after because this will take me a little bit longer to run the battery down. So, oh, I guess Harlow's in the front of the car. See you later, love. Gosh, you literally have like a dog mobile in here. Hi, buddy. Hi. Look at you guys. Harlow, the reason we put the seats down is so you don't damage them. Come on, buddy. He see doesn't know that, though. All right, see ya. Those new track pack wheels are looking really nice. Alyssa's heading up. I am going to basically go 70 miles per hour on the return route. We'll go past the track a little bit into Virginia, come back, and then what I typically do is just drive around the track until it starts to limit power and try to make it to the plug. So let's see what we can eke out of this Kona. Battery didn't cool off much. It's only been a few minutes, so we are good to go. Well, we're halfway through the range test. We're at 50% state of charge. We're getting 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, and we've done 121 miles, which indicates 242 miles of range, which is significantly more than we got in the Bolt, which was 228 miles. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the elevation levels this all out. We are now coming up to the exit where we started. The track is off here, so same with the Bolt. I'm gonna go up two exits and back around. We have 19% battery remaining. What's crazy is the predicted range is almost identical to what we got in the Bolt, so this is gonna be a really, really close range test between these two cars. And uh, yep, here's the exit for the track, 176. We're gonna be popping up into Virginia for a few and then we'll come on back down. So this is gonna be super, super close. We just did our turnaround point. We're at 10% battery. The crazy thing is the car is predicting the identical range to what we got in the Bolt EV. I'm only driving in the left lane because I don't want to draft behind this truck and I'm not really holding anyone up. But man, I can't wait to see how close this gets. And we are approaching our exit here. I don't think we'll be able to make it down to the next exit and back. It is just a little bit too far. So my plan is just to drive up and down our little access road here a couple times. 
let's bring it down to a stop. We're at 6%. Yeah, I don't think there's a pretty big gap in exit. So this is about as good as we're gonna do. So let's drive up and down the access road and then we'll drive around the track uh, once it really starts to get low. But we're already have the uh, battery light on and then sometime around five, three to 5%, I think depending on battery temperature, turtle mode kicks on and then we really get a limitation. So when turtle mode kicks on, I'm definitely gonna head towards the track, but I think we can do about, I don't know, 55, 60 miles an hour, maybe a little bit more through here. So we'll see. And very quickly, 5%, we are in turtle mode now. Uh, it basically just will limit power like every EV increasingly until we get down. The speed limit here is 55, so we're able to cruise a little bit above and, uh, yeah, this is the range indication has now gone dash dash, but given the last estimate before we hit 5%, it was 228 miles, uh, basically at a full charge, which is what the Bolt did. So I, I know I keep saying that, but these cars really compete against each other. And it's very interesting to see how closely matched they are. This message just came out. It says our charge will not be able to let us reach a charging station. We're at 1%, 225 miles in. I'm about to enter over to the track and get inside of our gates. And then uh, we'll just drive around till she limits power. But wow, this is pretty close. Um, it's kind of cold out right now, 45 degrees, but the car is warm because we started again when this was almost 60 something degrees outside. So we should be good. And let's go inside the gates and finish this thing off here momentarily. Look at Ellie. She thinks she's so badass holding this up. Yeah, you're no watchdog. You're a little fluffy golden retriever. Here's Alyssa. And now we're just doing laps around the facility the track, just running it down. It's really limiting quite a bit of power down here at 1%. So I'm kind of hesitant to go around the racetrack. So I'm just kind of driving up and down our little access road here. Kind of don't want to get stranded on the other side of the track. It's a two mile long track. It would take forever to walk around. So I'm just going to drive up and down around the buildings. 0%, 227.9, 228 miles officially matching the bolts range that did 228.6 but look that's near as makes no difference i don't know if we'll be able to get another loop around that's wide open on this car really slow let's see if we can do another another lap i think we might be able to let's try it out kind of whizzing around here but no one's here at 10 o'clock at night except for the dogs hopefully they don't run out oh there's Alyssa waving me on so we're good to go <laughs> she was saying go 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 Ooh, what is that a fox is that a fox that is a fox i don't know if you can see it on a camera we have foxes coyotes a whole bunch of stuff around here got to be careful with the dogs when they're off leash all right that's wide open power still pretty good acceleration actually i don't know i think we can maybe match the bolts range we will see I don't want to like floor it too much. I don't want to pull all that voltage out of the pack and brick it. So we're just going to be gentle on the acceleration for the most part. Oh, this is close. The bolt did 228.67, something like that. Uh, and we are at 228.5. Definitely losing acceleration though. 0% running this thing down. 228.6 matching the Bolt's range. Kona EV, even though it has a lower EPA range, officially went longer in the out of spec range test. Dun, dun, dun. Here I go. There's Alyssa waving me on. We're going. <laughs> loop de loop. I'm getting dizzy. Little car sick. That's all right. Can we get 230 miles out of it? I hope so. Can we do? <laughs> this is so stupid. If anyone was just looking from the outside in, oh, we've lost all power. The turtle is now flashing. Okay, I'm gonna turn around if we can. 
<laughs> the whole car just died there. We're gonna try and carry momentum. Oh, it's, yep, yeah, that's floored and it is not doing anything. Barely a hint of power. So I'm gonna pull it in the garage now because wide open doesn't, <laughs> wide open isn't doing anything. No, nope, she's waving me on, but we're pulling in. Here we go, let's pull it inside. Woohoo, end of the range test. 229.1, a half a mile longer than the Chevrolet Bolt EV updated for 2020. Nice work, Kona. No range test is perfect. I think I may have done the Bolt a slight disservice by a half a mile, I don't know. But let's uh, double check the odometer here. Everything's just... <laughs> Turtle mode's flashing, 229.1 and 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour, a hair more efficient than the Bolt. Again, this has a two kilowatt hour smaller battery pack. Let's do a zero to 100% charge on AC 240 volts. Sorry, poor battery in this thing, but we had to do it for science. So let's plug her in. Time to drink some juice, Kona. There you go. Delicious electricity. And there you have it, the range test and consumption test of the Kona Electric 70 mile per hour. Uh, it was roughly between 50 and 60 degrees on average. I'd say closer to 60 than 50 on average. I think we left, it was mid 60s. Um, I'm very impressed. I can't believe how close these two cars are. I will say the range test in the Kona was a lot nicer than the Bolt because of adaptive cruise control though, because I was at a steady state, that didn't matter so much. But what did help was the active lane centering. I didn't have to constantly steer. This did most of the work for me. I was there just to pay attention and tell the car that I was touching the wheel from time to time. Heads up display is great. The tech in the Kona is just way better than the Bolt in my opinion. And there we go, it goes a little bit farther with a little bit smaller battery pack. Pretty good. I should mention that this was a fresh car as well. Both cars were, that had 2,800 miles on it. This had 1,600 when I did the test. So, uh, you know, brand new cars from the manufacturers for us to test. So thank you guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.